guys. Um, welcome to Code Clink. So this will be a complete uh, tutorial for a beginner to learn Flutter this 2024. In order to get started, I'd like you to download these things. You have to download the Flutter SDK. Second is we have to download the VS Code. Third, we have to download the Android Studio. And if you'd like, you can download the Git. So in order to download Flutter SDK, you can just open your browser. Then you can go to Google. You can type Flutter if you want. Let's say we go to Google and we type Flutter SDK. And you will have this link or this link. But if you happen to choose uh, the first link, we'll try to click the first link. You will get to this page. Then you will select Windows. If you're using a Windows or if you're using a Mac, you can choose Mac OS or if you're using Linux. So for this tutorial, we're going to use Windows. So use, we click Windows. Then we again select Desktop. So now we are on this page. If you happen to read, uh, we'll just scroll down and look for this download and install. So this tab, we select this tab. As of the moment of this tutorial, the latest Flutter SDK is 3.16.8. It's a stable version, but I'm not using the stable version right now. So if you happen to uh, use a different version, you can select, click this link here, SDK Archive. So we're just gonna click SDK Archive. So you can choose a version for your Windows or your Mac or for Linux. So for this tutorial, I'm using a 3.10, 3.10 for 0.6. So you're just gonna download, you click this link here and you're going to download uh, Flutter, let's try it. So it will ask where you're gonna save your Flutter SDK. Uh, I won't be downloading now because I already have downloaded my Flutter SDK. So if, if it's your first time to download, you select the location where you want to um, put the uh, Flutter SDK download. So if you want to go to uh, desktop, you can select desktop and then you click save. Okay, next is we are going to download the Visual Studio Code. So if you're not familiar with that, you can just go to Google and you type VS Code. We select VS Code. It's fine. So we have our link here. So Visual Studio Code, you can click this link. After clicking the link, you can download the stable version of the Visual Studio Code. Now, Visual Studio Code is not the same as the Visual Studio. Um, it has This one has a blue color. It is just a text editor, so it's, it's um, lightweight. We are going to download the Visual Studio Code. Next is we are going to download the Android Studio. So you can just go to Google, type here, Android Studio. Then you click the link. After you click the link, you can download the latest version, which is Android Studio Hedgehog. Now, if you wanna download Git, which I would prefer to download Git. You can go back to Google and you can type there, Git download. If you have um, already the link, you can click the link here, downloads. You go to this link, you can click uh, the Git for your Windows, if you're using Windows, if you're using Mac or Linux, this is the link but I'm using Windows, so I'm just gonna click download for Windows. 
So it's up to you where you're going to save the, these softwares because we're going to install them later. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the, the installation of VS Code, Android Studio, and Git. Uh, we'll talk about that later in my other videos, but right now we are going to install the Flutter SDK and we're going to configure um, our Flutter SDK so then we can start using Flutter. So just to remind you guys, you, uh, you are going to install the Visual Studio Code, Android Studio, and Git. And then we're going to configure the Flutter SDK and then the Visual Studio Code and then Android Studio. So in my case, I have already downloaded um, the Visual Studio Code, the Flutter SDK. So what you're going to download is a compressed file um, of the Flutter SDK. So you are just going to um, extract the file. So let me show you. After you extract the file, you're going to have a folder, Flutter, as well as the version. So, so these are the files of Flutter SDK that we have downloaded. What I did was I placed the Flutter SDK to my drive C, make sure you don't put your Flutter SDK inside the program files that, uh, because that would require an admin privilege. So we're just gonna we're just gonna put the Flutter SDK to an SRC folder. It's up to you if you're going to directly put the Flutter folder here, or you're just going to uh, make first a folder. Of course, if you want to name it differently, that's up to you. In my case, I named the folder SRC. Then inside the folder SRC, I placed my Flutter uh, SDK. All right. Now, the next step that you are going to do after you place the Flutter SDK here, is you're going to open the Flutter SDK. You go to the bin folder and then you copy the address. So we are going to copy this address. We highlight and then we click copy. After copying, you go to your start menu and you type in env. That would open um, the environment variable. So in my case, I'm going to open this one. So we got here a window for system properties. You are going to click the environment variables. So we click the environment variables. Now notice here you have two uh, variables. We have one for the user, it's on the top. And below we have the system variables. We're not gonna touch the system variables. We're just gonna uh, go with this user variables here. So just look for the path we click the path and we click the button edit so we click the edit button here uh, you just click new so after clicking new you paste here um, the address that we got earlier the bin folder we just go with the right click and then paste so we have here the C, SRC, Flutter, and the bin. This is very important to properly install the Flutter SDK to our system. And when you're already done with that, you click OK. In my case, I, I already have that. So you click OK, and then you click again OK, and then OK. So that's it for the installation of Flutter SDK. The next we're gonna do is we're gonna open our Visual Studio Code. If you're done installing Visual Studio Code, then we're gonna open our Visual Studio Code. 